today's absolute value of complex numbers. To quickly review when graphing complex numbers on a coordinate plane, the horizontal axis represents our real numbers and the vertical axis represents imaginary numbers. 3 plus 4i, I go to 3 on the real axis and 4 on the imaginary axis to meet is the basically representation of our complex number. So today we're going to take this one step further though and we're going to draw a line from the origin 0, 0 out to our complex point. We're going to call that line Z. Sometimes you'll hear that called Z, but today we're just going to call it Z. Complex number is equal to Z. The absolute value of Z represents the length of line Z, so the distance from the origin out to our point. That length is called the modulus. Sometimes we can write it mod Z, sometimes absolute value of Z. There's probably about but today we're just going to use absolute value of z. Remember how we went to the right 3 and up 4 to get to our point? Well, that horizontal and vertical uh, line pair are guaranteed to be perpendicular to each other. So what you see on the screen is a right triangle, probably one of the easiest ways to find the modulus for a complex number. Thanks to the fact that that's a right triangle, we can use Pythagorean theorem to help us find our missing side length. A and B, of course, are always perpendicular to each other, and those are the legs, and C is our... That means in this representation, 3 and 4 are our legs, and Z is our hypotenuse. We can say that Z squared equals 3 squared plus 4 squared root of both sides, and I get c is equal to the square root of a squared plus b squared. I'm going to take the square root of both sides, and that gives me z is equal to the square root of the absolute value of z, because length can never be negative. Since z squared actually has two roots, one positive and one negative, this just tells us we always want the positive root. I'm going to go ahead and simplify. 3 squared becomes 9, 4 squared becomes 16, add 25, which of course is 5. And again, we just want to keep the positive root. So the length of z, the distance from the origin out to the complex representation of 3 plus 4i, is 5 units. Just kind of a side note, remember the general form for complex number was a plus bi? See the uh, a and b? a and b? They are absolutely related. Let's take a look at the complex number negative 2 minus. First, we're going to graph it on our imaginary plane. Then we're going to draw in the line from the origin out to our point. Let's go ahead and draw in our triangle. Now normally we would say that this is negative 2 and negative 5, but remember length can't really be negative. So for now anyway, we're going to call this 2 and 5. We don't have to. I can go ahead in my formula, I can put the, or I could put positive 2 and positive 5, because when I square them, it's all going to become positive anyway. So negative 2 or 2 squared become 4. Negative 5 squared becomes 25. Adding the 2 together, I get the square root of 29. And that's a couple of decimal points. And I get approximately 5.39. The length of line z is approximately 5.39, and that's our modulus. What if we don't have a complex number, but just an imaginary number, or just a real number for that case? Keep in mind that we can always put a, a 0 plus, right? 4i is the same as 0 plus 4i, so I really can write it in its complex form. If I just had a real number, 
I could put plus zero I and it all will come out the same. So to graph this, I go to zero on the real plane or on the imaginary axis. So in this case, zero is A. My formula, I get the square root of zero squared plus four squared. Together, I get the square root of 16, which of course is four. Now, taking a look at the, or could, I just have counted up the imaginary axis, one, two, three, four units. Absolutely, when you're on the horizontal axis or when you're on uh, the vertical axis, I don't think you really need the formula. You could just count out the distance, but if line Z is need the formula. All right, we're going to wrap it up for today. Bring your, I'll see you next time.